All right. Thank you for clapping. You've got uh, great instincts. <laughs> Man, they're making our technology so smart these days. You know about that? <laughs> all the TVs are smart. I don't know all the old TVs were idiots. <laughs> and the phones are smart. I got a smart phone and it's got um, apps on my phone. And sometimes I want to use an app. And I will open the app and the app will say, uh, what is your password? And I'll be like, what are you asking me for? I told you. <laughs> well, you know, I'll have a guess. So I'll type in what I think the password is and my phone will be like, no, it's not that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so you know. So I type in some other variation and it'll be like, ah, uh -uh. <laughs> And then I have forgot password. And then my phone will be like, oh my gosh, actually, while I've got you, uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble with my computer homework. Uh, could you tell me which of these images have traffic lights in them? <laughs> so do you know that John Mayer wrote the song, Your Body is a Wonderland, uh, from the perspective of a mosquito? I thought he wrote it about a lady. Because John Mayer loves the ladies. And he and I are not so dissimilar in this regard. I also love the ladies. I actually love the ladies so much, I consider myself to be a feminist first, a comedian second. A, a, probably a misogynist third. No, I'm kidding, no, I'm kidding. I'm actually a tremendous ally. I'm such an ally. So do you guys know about the Bechdel test? Have you heard of this? If you don't know, it's a test in cinema. It tests the representation of women in film. And for a film to pass the Bechdel test, it has to feature two characters who are named, who are women having a conversation about something that isn't a man. So, you know, like shopping or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> It's a surprisingly difficult test for movies to pass. <laughs> and I'm one of the only guys I know who every single day, I go out to make sure my day passes the Bechdel test. And do, do you have any idea how hard that is for a fella? Every morning, first thing, I've got to try and think of somewhere that two women might be. And then I've got to get there and I get close enough to hear what they're talking about and their names and hear them talk for long enough to finally talk about something that isn't a man, which is difficult these days because these broads are boy crazy! <laughs> but the other day, I was in the park and I heard this woman say, uh, she said to her friend Carolyn, and uh, the other woman said, yes, Susan, you know, and I'm thinking, bingo! <laughs> <laughs> but then Susan says, uh, can you see that man in the bushes over there? <laughs> So just my luck, you know, I've got to come out of the bushes dressed in full camouflage, mind you, <laughs> saying, ladies, ladies, can't you see I'm helping? <laughs> yeah, I do not know what is going on with the state of society these days. You could literally be yelling at a woman that you're a feminist and somehow still be the bad guy. <laughs> uh, that's all. Thank you.